I got contracted by a leader who said, Zach, I have this really unmotivated staff. This is how I usually start off with organizations. So I was like, these people aren't motivated. Go fix them. <laughs> and I go in, and I work with them, and they were window washers. And so they're window washers and maintenance team. And I start talking to them about their work. It's amazing what happens when you just talk to people about what matters to them in work. Have you ever asked your people, when do you experience the meaningfulness? When do you experience meaninglessness? That is the most powerful data, more powerful than a keynote could give you on how to be a meaning-giving leader. So I went in and I, I was talking to them. They thought it was a motivation issue. And this woman said to me, Zach, I just want you to know something. For 10 years, I've been coming to this job. Every day, I clean the windows on the first floor of these buildings. There's a building I clean the windows every day, but there's a sprinkler that's aimed towards the windows. So at the end of the day, the sprinkler comes on, and there's watermarks all over it. So I get up the next day, I come into work, I wipe off the window of the watermarks from the sprinkler that's aimed towards the building. She said, I've asked my leaders, the sprinkler's aimed towards the window. And they always say, that's the sprinkler people's fault. That's not our problem. It's honestly, that happens more than maybe we'd like to admit in organizations. It's the, it's the sprinkler people's fault. It's not our problem. Meanwhile, time after time after time, the experience of futility, that what I'm doing doesn't matter, creates meaninglessness. Was this a motivation issue? No, it was a systems issue. Almost every person issue is a systems issue. How does the system enable the behavior you're seeing? How does your system, in which you're complicit in, enable the behavior you're seeing? 